It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Cincinnati Bengals. And it's coming up next. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? We are set to go. Evan McPherson to do the honors, and we are underway from Cincinnati. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Phillies offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They'll start out on the ground and Saquon Barkley. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. A quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. They can't up. Let's go this thing now. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll go to Barkley again. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. And they're able to avoid that three and out. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. On second down, here's Barkley. Dodges him at the 50. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. 
Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense is moving a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they're in a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try them out a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a second and ten. Hurts. He dumps it off to Barkley. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 25-yard line. The third down conversion is successful. Give him 12 yards that time. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. It's caught Smith. And down inside the 15 he goes. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. And this is exactly the kind of drive you're hoping for out of the gates. They're mixing the run and the pass well, keeping this defense off balance early. And they're on the march here with another first down. But first down, Hurts. And Gallant's got, got it. Touchdown, Eagles. From 13 yards out. And the Eagles put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here are the Bengals on offense, and here is Joe Burrow ready to lead them at quarterback. And when you come into the league as the number one guy selected, a lot of hype comes with it. And sometimes that weight can be unbearable. For this young man, he took that weight on and handled it as well as you can imagine. And I love his ability to make a second, third reaction play and create downfield. Burrow and the Bengals with a first and 10 at the 20. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And yeah, he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Burrow on play action. 
this is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Bengals first down. And he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice try of going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. On first and ten, Joe Burrow hits his target. That's Charlie Jones. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. They'll fake the jet sweep and go play action with Burrow. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten. Burrow will throw. And get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. A nice game there to his trusty tight end. And now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering it. Is it a small cornerback? Is it a linebacker who may not run as well? In any event, whatever you see, you think that tight end can win that battle. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Burrow looking to pass. That's complete. Once again, it's Gesicki. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. That's a staple of this offense, drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. To the air again, Burrow. And it's caught. And the Bengals are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Moss will take this one in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Boy, two long, sustained drives by each team to start things out. It's kind of similar to how the pitch clock has shortened baseball games. That means we'll be out of here quickly if we get a few more drives like that. We're in the second quarter now, and we've only had one drive apiece, each of which have ended with touchdowns. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was a terrific play, causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them, as he did there. They go play action with Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Throwing his hurts. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Bengals are going to have it here just past the 25. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. Here's Higgins out of the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. They will throw on first down with Burrow. It's complete to Brown, right side. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. He finds his man complete. That's Hudson. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. A run of the Jets sweep with Jones. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. Josh Sweat coming in strong and dropping him behind the line of scrimmage. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. No yardage to speak of whatsoever. Leads to a third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Burrow. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. 
There are not many times where you might say it's a detriment to have a quarterback with a cannon for an arm, but this might be one of those few times. He just laid that one out there a bit too far, and his receiver couldn't run under it. So on fourth down, on is Brad Robbins to punt for the Bengals. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's got a tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's the tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well in that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at about the 32. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. They'll run wide side here with Barkley. Able to power through. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. And we got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. On that play, it was the defensive front that won the battle. They outleveraged the offensive line, got into the backfield, and held him to no gain. Here's second and ten. Here's Hurts to throw. And it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he is caught, and he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 39. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup, and on this play, he finds him for the first down. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And so we're into maneuver. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 69 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. Pretty explosive run on that inside handoff. And when you're a runner of his caliber, you don't need a big crease. You really don't. But also what we're seeing is an offensive line that's taking charge at the point of attack, aren't we? Not only are they controlling the initial contact, they're actually utilizing what they call the strain the next two to three seconds to continue to move people. On first and ten, it's Hurts. Buying time to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Hurts sets up to throw it. Looking middle, and that's complete. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. 
And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Hurts. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts taking it in from four yards out. And the Eagles will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Elliott good on the extra point, And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. The Bengals going to take over late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one-possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Burrow. They'll run the screen with Moss. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Now they need two. Here's third down. Now it's Burrow. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. This is fielded at the 27. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Logan Wilson that time there to bring him down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando in our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
A one touchdown ball game, 14-7. Our scores, as we get back at it on EA Sports. On the return is Charlie Jones. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. and They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, here's Burrow. Looking for Chase on the out route. He's got him. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Burrow. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second down and three. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So they'll, of course, decline the pass interference there and wisely take the yardage. And I think defensively he's saying, I was getting away with that in the first half. Why are you making that call now? But to me, that one was pretty easy to see. I don't understand what he's upset about. I think it was the correct call. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Touchdown! Mike Gesicki, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Bengals are an extra point away from drawing level. The tight end position has always been dangerous, especially in the red zone, short field. But now even more so because these tight ends aren't necessarily the tight ends of old. They're the rocked-up wide receivers who have a little bit more speed, way harder to cover than before. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and we are tied at 14. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. After that last touchdown we just saw, Charles, we got ourselves a brand new ball game all tied here in the third as they have their first possession of this second half. And Brandon, this drive is all about one word to me, and that's the word answer, because they're trying to answer the momentum the other offense picked up in tying the game, because not only if they score and they feel better about themselves, they'll retake the lead and maybe set the tone for the rest of the half, keeping them in the driver's seat. 
Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. A gain of eight there on the play. And they'll be left with second and a couple. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. 85 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Blocking at the point of attack there was very strong. He had a couple of running lanes. And I never want to overlook the offensive line, but that's what they get paid to do. How about the quarterback? Everyone thinks all he's going to do is throw the football. His movement and deception can help a running game as well. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Incomplete. And in the second half of a tie game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Up the middle with Barkley. And he is going to be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bengals' 39. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And this is caught. It's Brown. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now second and five. Looking to throw. And he's got it. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Eagles have moved out in front. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. 
Joe Burrow trots out again with the rest of his offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they now push off at the end of a route, too. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. On first down, Hurts over the middle complete. It's Brown. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds. Because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? From the gun, it's Hurts. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. First target, first catch, and a first down. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. That'll give them eight that time, and it'll be second in a couple. 
Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large-body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Cincinnati. It's the Bengals. They've got the football, but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four. They'll run on first down with Moss. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Second and nine from the 44. Burrow looking to pass. And his throw here is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The offense on third down tonight. Just one for three thus far. This is third and nine. Burrow will throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 33. That third down conversion, good for 23. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 down at the 33. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. It'll be a gain of five, and that'll make it second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and five. And Burrow going to throw again. This pass complete to Higgins. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 17-yard line. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quick. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back in the 25. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, partner, guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Third down, here's a run by Moss. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Zach Moss. His second touchdown of the night. And the Bengals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter.
After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because <laughs> they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive, and keep them on their heels, they'll be best sold that way. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And on this play, the read for the quarterback was the defensive end, and he was totally focused on the quarterback. He should have given it off inside to the running back. Instead, he kept it and ended up taking a loss on the play. Here's Hurts to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing his hurts. The back of pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. And there's Sam Hubbard that time in there to bring him to the ground. The third and long, you knew that he was going to throw it, but he just couldn't find anybody to throw it to. Yeah, and it shouldn't have been a surprise, but that was perfect execution of their nickel defense. That fifth defensive back, the extra defender, he really tightened up things downfield and coverage, and they were able to get to him in the pocket. Here's Jones. They'll get nine yards on the return there following a punt of 42. And the Bengals take over first and 10. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Jalen Carter in on that tackle. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second and five. Here's Burrow. Connecting on the out route here with Higgins. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now back to throw. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. That's on the guard, Alex Kappa. Penalties not what they needed here. First and 15. Now it's Burrow. Now a short one to Gesicki. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 
Another try, second and ten now. Burrow. That's taken in by Higgins. And they'll get this down to the ten. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going. And right now, it's paying off with big chunks of yardage, as shown by that last play. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now Burrow. The quick slant caught. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. But right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark, really, start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. Burrow. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Jalen Carter in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. Partner, you absolutely cannot take a sack in that situation. Now, it's also fourth down. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Escapes the defender, and it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And McPherson on for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute, as the kick's away here. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the save calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. They begin with a run by Barkley, and that won't help much. Only a yard on first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. They'll come up now, second and nine. They'll run it again with Barkley. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
Hurts. Pass complete. Got it. And they will get the conversion on third down, but the clock, a more pressing factor. And remember here, no timeouts. And this may be a case of too little, too late, unless they throw one towards the end zone and get a Hail Mary. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So it's the Eagles who will get the first chance to go down and find a winner as they'll get it here, and we are back underway. And they will play it safe here and bring this one out to the 25. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. A first down carry for Barkley. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Short gain there to start overtime. Almost a tester play, wasn't it? Wanted to see if the guys on defense were going to fit the gaps the correct way because we're in overtime. So it's not just physical tiredness out there, right? Mentally, are you still doing what you're supposed to do? And they were up to the task on that play. And certainly fatigue on both sides of the football. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. So a big play in this opening drive of overtime. Now looking at a third and three. Now a first throw here in overtime. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Hurts throw here taken in by Parker. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll find Parker again. Complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 27-yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Brandon, that's a huge completion there. That puts them in field goal range, but let's face it. They don't want three here. They want six. With these overtime rules, a touchdown finishes it off. Yeah, look, looking to win it right away. Good to know, though, that they have three in their back pocket if they need it. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? In overtime, you have to be smarter than that. A personal foul just can't happen. Have to have poise. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. 
three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settling because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free. And that is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. He goes eight yards on the touchdown run. And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. Elliott good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He's up now to 80 yards receiving in the ball game, And he's got a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Burrow's throw taken in here by Chase. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Call that a very strong gain of 24. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. To the air again, Burrow. Man open, here is Jones. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 15 yards there for number 15. Offensively, back-to-back -back really nice plays. This defense, they've got two timeouts, maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. From the 21, here's second and six. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. This is caught. Touchdown, Bengals. It's T. Higgins with a touchdown pass from Joe Burrow. All drives that result in points hurt a defense. But when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing.
McPherson on for the point after. And things are getting good now. We're heating up tied at 35. That time, a six-play drive. And it was T. Higgins who capped the drive with the touchdown reception. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. And out now come the Eagles. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. Second down. Here's Jalen Hurts. And that's complete to Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you <laughs> got to keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. First and 10. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. His throw incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line. They call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Bengals will take over here, first and 10. <laughs> to throw Burrow. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Let every day, let's do what we do every day. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. 
As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing. Burrow. Oh, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. Man, what a battle. I mean, what a game this has turned out to be, Charles, as we're going to have now a fifth drive here in overtime. I don't know how they're doing it out there because the focus, the concentration, that has to stay as high as the intensity, and it's hard to do with how hard-hitting this game has been. But at this point, you've got kicking in your background. Can you go down there and put one through the post so we can all go home? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they want me down there, but <laughs> of course we've said it multiple times. That's all it takes right now. Three to win it. But first down, Hurts. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So they take a decent shot, CD, and the flag comes out for pass interference. Yeah, a little DPI, as they like to call it in the business, right? And the farther you get downfield, the more frenetic things get, and the more calm and controlled you have to remain as a defender. That was a little bit of a slip there, and the penalty will go against him. Well, a couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different, but ultimately time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short, and they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the